Hello, welcome back to another video of Lauren Hardy Collectibles. Uh, on this video, I want to do more on my signed items. Um, I've got some on this wall. I think I might have gone through them in a previous video, but I want to go through these ones in more detail, and plus a few more I have in my collection. So, um, so starting off over here, I have got... Uh, this one here is the full signatures with the sticker that Stan would have um, licked that down personally which he did on a lot of his uh, autographs uh, with both their signatures during the touring days. Uh, I believe this one's around 1952-53 so that's a nice clear example. And then up here you've got uh, another um, autograph signed by both of them which again probably is from the touring days this is a, a best which is always Frank sincerely Stan Law Oliver Hardy so that's another nice example and then the one up here which has been uh, just uh, this one here this one is uh, signed uh, by them both again it's just their signatures uh, sometimes you get quite a lot of their signatures has been dedicated so it's quite nice just to have it on their own so it's a nice nice example that one would be from an autograph book and then this one here is uh, Charlie Chaplin that's uh, another nice example again very simple straightforward signature that one and then the one up here you've got uh, if you can see that there that's uh, Charlie Chaplin that's uh, Merry Christmas, December 9th, 48. So that's really nice to have that one. That's quite a rare rare one to have uh, in authentic form. It's nice to have the extra information on it because it adds to the authenticity of when it was signed. And then moving on, this one has been um, mounted and framed and uh, Stan Laurel has put uh, Hello Mary on that one and with Oliver's signature underneath that. Um, Oliver Hardy's signature is, is quite big and wavy, he's like he's gone absolutely mad <laughs> signing that one, but again, really nice example. And then uh, just moving on down here, um, I'll just set this up here. So, um, just uh, just to round this video up, there's just a few more uh, signatures I'd like to to go through. Uh, this one here is a simple one, this is a, just an ordinary postcard and uh, it's actually signed by John McCabe who was, who was a very uh, close friend and their biographer. Um, he was the author of uh, Mr. Law and Mr. Hardy and Comedy World of Stan Law and Babe, the life of Oliver Hardy. So it's nice to have um, his signature. He's put on that. Um, for I am a true, dedicated Lauren Hardy, uh, John McCabe. So that's nice, nice one to have. Uh, this one here is a photograph from early to bed. Um, you can see you've got Oliver Hardy's signature here, but it, it is actually a stamp, and. Um, uh, sometimes you'd have stands uh, put on as a stamp as well, and um, the, but clearly you can see this is it, it's just a stamp, so it's a bit more smeary, so it's not the real signature, but it's nice to have um, as another example. But you get to know uh, their signatures from either prints or stamps or, or the real thing, so um, it's a good way to learn. And then on this one here is a co star. That's uh, authentic signature there that's signed by Iris Adrian. It's just signed there. And she has put on that uh, Tommy McCab uh, Have a Good Life. Uh, Iris Adrian, she's put on that. You can just see there, she's written there. She is actually one of the co stars from um, Our Relations. She played one of the young girls that uh, Stan and Ollie seduced, and it all goes wrong with their wives. So again, another nice example. Uh, this one here is Pack Up Your Troubles. This is from um, the original magazine 
uh, of the time. Pack up your troubles. This is a page from the magazine which is dated January 21st, 1933. And uh, it's been clearly signed by Jacqueline or, or Jackie Lynn, which she would have signed that when she was a little bit older. So it's a nice, nice example there. Uh, this one here is uh, the big boss himself, Hal Roach, Hal Roach's signature. And that is um, on a photograph of Matthew Bird, which was from our gang and who played uh, with all the other kids on the Hal Roach lot with um, uh, the Little Rascals. And um, that, that's the child star of that, of that time period at the, the Hal Roach studio, but that is Hal Roach's signature. So it's nice to have the main the main man himself. And then on this one here, this is just an added interest. It's no one related or, or anything. This is just an imitator of Stan Law. Um, of, 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 at, at, at the time. So this has uh, been signed by a Joe, Joe Law. And um, even the way he signed that Law is... Um, is very similar to Stan's um, signature, but that is just uh, an imitator of Stan Law. Uh, this one is signed by Dick Van Dyke, who was um, a, a good friend of Stan in his later years, and sadly also his speaker at his funeral, which um, which is actually a really moving speech if you uh, happen to listen to that. Um, and then over here, um, just grab these over, and then you've got this one here, this is by uh, Carl Slover, um, he's the midget and he plays the, he's obviously a young, a young, a young uh, uh, person in this photo or, or, or probably a kid in this one, but this is 19... 38 from Blockheads from the elevator scene where um, he uh, he says out please uh, Blockheads which he's clearly written on that 1938 and uh, he's put his name just at the bottom there Carl Slover I think he also played one of the Munchkins from um, uh, The Wizard of Oz so uh, that's interesting um, uh, this one here is Virginia, uh, Virginia Carnes, the signature just down here, and she's written there, Mother Goose. She, she, so this lady here, Virginia Carnes, she played Mother Goose in Babes in Toyland. So another nice example of another, of another co-star signature. And then on this side you have William Janney. He played Alan in uh, Bonnie Scotland. So nice, nice old signature there. And this one here is Roy C. Wright. I, this has been signed Roy W. C. Wright, who's the uh, special effects technician. And his uh, signature there, and the uh, the um, special effects guy, basically at the Howard Studio. And that's a behind the scenes shot from way out west. So it's nice to have. Uh, colleagues and friends that were behind the scenes on their films. And then finally, just to round this video off, I've got this book, which is 1976, the Lauren Hardy scrapbook. And uh, inside it is clearly signed by the author. Um, got Jack Scagnetti, if I can pronounce that right, I'm not sure if I've said that correctly but that's signed by the author and then just on the inside it's also signed by Lucille Hardy Price and Ben Price which is uh, Lucille's second husband and uh, um, um, Oliver Hardy's last last wife so that is signed to Jordan with affection Lucille and Ben October 1982 so uh, that's that's really nice to have I've already shown one of her signatures before in one of the other files, but this is another one I have of Lucille. So again, really nice, nice example. 
in the Lauren Hardy scrapbook, which is from 1976. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it on this video, and uh, I hope to do another one on on more um, autographs that I have, uh, co-stars, etc. So, uh, uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.